Hello everyone, it's Nadie, and today we'll be unboxing this month's BoxyCharm. As you fabulous people know, this is about the products, not the people behind them. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away, because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Okay, I guess I'll just sit here and sip my coffee, wait for the crime to pass. Okay. Are we done? No? Okay. And for those of us who might be a little bit unfamiliar with BoxyCharm, it is a $21 a month beauty subscription service where each month you get over $100 worth of full-size luxury beauty items. And honey, these bitches will slay your life. Like, we get shit from top dog cosmetic companies like MAC, Ofra, Morphe, Crown, Here, Tarte, and this month we actually have an item from a YouTuber. Which, that's actually the only spoiler that I know of. I've been a very good boy this month and have not seen any items. Other than the one palette which I only know about because I'm actually doing a giveaway of that palette, which I'll talk about later. But if you've been on my channel for a hot minute, you will know that I am fucking obsessed with BoxyCharm. Like, I love this service so much. Like, I'll be so bummed at the end of this unboxing video because that means I have to wait another month for this. If you think that's really creepy and weird and I have no life, actually, that's accurate. But no, I do absolutely love BoxyCharm. They've added so many amazing products to my collection that I otherwise probably wouldn't have been able to afford. Plus, if I end up not really caring for one of the items in the box, pretty much everything else in the box totally makes up for that item. And like usual, anytime I get anything for free on this channel, I will always let you know, and BoxyCharm does provide the service to me at no charge to review for you, but does that mean I'm a sugarcoat? A damn thing? Fuck no. If I like something in here, I'll tell you, and if I hate it, I'll let you know. And if at any point you decide, hey, I kind of fucking love this box, and you yourself would like to become a BoxyCharmer, BoxyCharm was kind enough to provide me with a link down below for you to use, but please do not feel obligated to go through me. It's there if you want it, I'm just saying. But, like I said earlier, I really haven't looked up any spoilers for this month other than the one that we already know about, so I'm super excited. Like, I live for the surprise. And let's open this up. Oh my god, that actually worked. Oh my god, again. I swear there's more goddamn fires in this city than the California forest. Oh god, that was in very poor taste. Keep California in your very positive thoughts. Anyways, let's dive into this. On the top, there's always a card listing all the products and the theme. And this month's theme is Life at the Party. Ooh, and we have some sexy beasts on here this month. Ooh, look at them. I see some meat on there that I wouldn't mind digging into. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and set that right up there because I don't want to ruin the surprise and let's Let's dive into our first product, which is, uh, oh my god, this is actually the spoiler that I knew about. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette, which I'm actually giving away. We just did a review on this palette, it's actually still sitting in front of me, so this little baby is going to one of you lucky bitches. It is a beautiful and vibrant palette, the link to the giveaway is down below, be sure to enter, it is super easy. But for today's look, I'm actually going to be using the one that I already dipped into so that somebody doesn't get a used palette. So we'll just set that guy right over there, and fortunately, it's actually the first item on this list. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Eyeshadow Palette, which retails for $19. This says, dare to be in the life of the party with the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. These six stunning shades create bold, colorful looks, leaving you ready for a night of fun. Oh shit, and I just looked back at this picture and Laura's actually sitting in the middle. Did not even notice that. You go, girl. And our next item is finally a pocket vibrator. No, unfortunately it's not, but it is just as good. I think it's a Becca product. Yes, it is. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. What the fuck kind of name is that? Ooh, pretty iridescent packaging though. Shit, yes. No, that's actually the name. Instant Complexion Refresh. I feel like that's a grammatical error. Not that you'll be able to see a swatch of a primer, but we're still gonna swatch it. Okay, it smells very natural. Like, there really isn't any scent to it. It just smells like ingredients? Mm, yeah, I think that's all I'm smelling. And I fucking love the fact that this doesn't feel like I just rubbed silicone on my hands. Like, it feels kind of tacky and sticky. Usually with silicone silicone primers, the makeup just melts off my face, so this makes me very happy and excited. Shit, this is good luck. This is actually the second item on the list, so I haven't seen other spoilers. This is the Becca Assorted Primer, so I'm guessing other people got different ones, but they range from $15 to $18. Prep and prime your skin with your new Becca Primer. You'll either get First Light Priming Filter, Backlight Priming Filter, or Ever Matte Poreless Priming Filter. I almost wish we got that one. Anyways, it creates a perfectly smooth canvas for your foundation, 100% party approved. Very nice. I quite like this box so far. What do we have next? Bang Beauty, what the fuck is this? Um, okay. Okay, let's open it. I still have no fucking clue what this is. Oh, it's gel eyeliner? Bitch, where? It's clear. Um, oh, okay. That is 
Very interesting. You get just a dollop of product in there. But this is in the shade chocolate, all right. It does not smell like chocolate, which is probably a good thing. I have never heard of this brand. Have any of you? Am I just that ignorant? Yeah, that sounds accurate. But this is the Bang Beauty Chocolate Eyeliner, which retails for $22. My God. That is a Kat Von D or a Stila eyeliner right there. Holy hell. Anyways, this says use it as an eyeliner, a shadow base, or even touch up your brows. This creamy chocolate toned pomade is the ultimate triple threat. Okay, I love the fact that you can use it for multiple things. Every Everybody loves a versatile bitch. Let's see, next up we have something very, very flat. Ooh, elephant condoms. No, for real, these are baggage claim gold eye masks. Ooh, I like that. I'm probably not gonna use these today, even though I probably should. But I will definitely let you know on my social media how these work, so make sure you follow me on there. These Wander Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks, I like that name, that's very clever, retail for $13. After a long night of sucking dick and partying, who doesn't love a good eye mask? Okay, I made part of that up, you decide which part. These gold foil under eye masks brighten, hydrate, and reduce the appearance of dark under eye circles. The hyaluronic acid diminishes the appearance of wrinkles while aloe leaf extracts and lavender oil cool and soothe your under eye area. This bitch is heading all the way across country tomorrow to Texas, so I'm probably gonna bring these because I'm going to need them. And I think we still have a couple items in here. What is this, cologne? No, it is NCLA So Rich Treatments. What is it? Oh, it's cuticle oil. That's kind of fun. I don't think we've ever gotten a product like that before. Ooh, and it smells really nice. Kind of like toasted marshmallow? Oh my god, I want to fucking lick it. Oh my god. Shit, I wish you could smell this right now. This NCLA So Rich Lollipop Cuticle Oil retails for 18 bucks. Holy hell. Glam yourself head to cuticles before a night out with this vitamin E infused cuticle oil. Oh my god, my eyes are so bad I can hardly read this. Hold on a damn second, I need my glasses. This, my friends, is what life has become. Its gentle rubber grip dropper allows for the perfect dosage of oil and application every time. Gently apply and massage into the nails and cuticle two times a day to nourish and soften your nails. And lastly, we have one more thing, I think, which is, ooh, Smashbox. The legendary liquid metal lipstick. Fancy as fuck. That is fucking gorgeous. Holy shit. Oh, okay, I am very excited to use this. This is an assorted product, so different people are gonna get different items, which retail for $21 to $24. Create bold, beautiful looks with your new Smashbox lip product. This pigment-loaded color glides on in just one swipe, getting you out the door and into the party quicker. Shades and finishes may vary. Well, I am actually very happy about this box so far. The only thing that I'm not super pumped about is this cuticle oil, because the bitch doesn't do shit with his nails. But still, I will use this for a little bit, but then I think I'm gonna pass it on to my bestie who is obsessed with nails, so I definitely am gonna get some use out of this. My god, there's a fucking fly in here again. How does this shit always happen right when I start filming? Anyways, like always, let's hop right into a look, and I'm going in with this Beauty Blender Foundation in the shade 2.5. And for a concealer, I feel like we haven't used shape tape in a long-ass time, so let's go in with some of that in the shade Light. Oh, <gasps> fuck me, I forgot to use the damn primer. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> What the fuck did I even do with the primer? Okay, we are going to use this as an eye primer instead. Holy shit, I cannot believe I forgot it. Oh my, I actually kind of really like this as a primer because it's blending in, but it's still tacky and it's not creasing. Well, there you go. Maybe I did do something right. So, let's go ahead and dip into this eyeshadow. I really don't know what kind of a look I want to do. I think I'm going to keep it simple. So, why don't we do like an orangey yellow look? So, let's dip into Dranks and let's go ahead and blend that out right along the crease line. Oh my. God, that is pretty. And I know when we review products, it's really not about the people behind it. It's definitely about the products themselves. But even if you don't like Laura, like her shit is good. I own pretty much all of her items except for her first palette. And I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed. Whatever lab she went through is doing a very good job. Anyway, I'm just gonna blend those edges out with a clean, fluffy brush. And let's take some of that same orange right on the lower lash as well. And of course, the bitch has to cut an inner crease. And I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that gorgeous orange and kind of fade it in towards the middle. And then on a dry flat brush, let's dip into It's a Party and place it pretty much everywhere that we cut that crease. And let's place a bit of that right on the inner lower lash as well. There we go. Very simple, but I love it. I don't think this look would really look good with a brown liner, so I'm gonna kind of smudge it in between my lower lashes. Maybe, maybe not. Um... Hmm. That doesn't really seem to be doing anything, so maybe we'll just have to use this on the brows. Oh god, wish me luck. Oh shit, that is way too light. Fuck. Okay. From what I can tell, this does seem to be a pretty good formula. It just isn't really matching anything that I put on. So, there is that. Sorry about that. Oh my god, it made my eyebrows really crunchy. That is holding shit into place. Damn. Instead, I'm gonna go in with a deeper brown and just rub that in between the lashes. And for liner, we'll do a bit of a wing. Oh, what the fuck? There's 
there's an ant on my mouse. How the hell did you get all the way up here? Whatever, go towards the light, bitch. The only thing that we have left is the Smashbox lipstick, which I think should go with this look. Fuck, I don't know. Oh, but it's so pretty. Oh my god. I have never seen a lipstick like that before. Like, what the fuck? It is literally like liquid metal. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The lipstick is a little bit messy to apply, but it's still really pretty, but these do not go together at all. Like, this is just a big no for me. The product itself is totally okay, but these colors clash like crazy, which really bums me up because you'd think it'd go together really nice, but once I had it on my lips, it kind of turned purple. Don't know what that's about. So instead, let's kind of mimic the eyes and be bold and go with Jeffree Star's flamethrower and then in the middle of that queen bee. And here we have it. It actually turned out pretty okay. Yes, bitch. Yes. So this month's boxy charm. I'm not unhappy with it, but it's definitely not my favorite month yet, which does kind of surprise me because we did get some really good products in here. I think the color change in the lipstick is really what threw me for a loop. I don't know if I applied it wrong or what, but when it turned purple, it just didn't match my eyes at all. The chocolate eyeliner I actually do really like. Like I put it in my eyebrows and it's really holding them into place. It's just the color is a little bit too light for me, but I think it'll be an amazing eyeliner. I just didn't think it would match this look today. This primer, at least on the eyes, is kind of fucking amazing. Like, it really helped the eyeshadow colors pop. And the eyeshadow palette, we all already know I fucking love. Like, it blended out amazingly. The pigments were very, very bright and vibrant. I really like it. And the cuticle oil, if I don't get any use out of it other than smelling it, you know what? I'll be happy because it smells like a damn snack. And I don't want to forget about these, but I am very excited to use these. In fact, I might even use one tonight. But if we were to total up everything that we got today, it would be around 110 ish dollars because there's varying items. I can't really give you an exact price, but still, 100 bucks? That is not bad. Like I said before, if you yourself would like to become a boxy charmer, please feel free to use the link down below, but do not feel obligated to go through me. Please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget, my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, is available at thepoplux.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Yeah.